Hello world, Techno Sleuth Craig Chamberlain here. Welcome back to the Hello World series. This is speed tip number eight. Today we're gonna to talk about upgrading your system memory. Now, let me point out that your memory is not the same thing as your hard drive space. Hard drive space is the amount of space on your hard drive where you can store information and data. If you double click on your computer like I just did and then you see hard drive here, it says total size 74.5 gigabytes and free space 31.3. If it doesn't show that on yours, you can right click and click properties and see a more detailed perspective with a graph. Now that's actually hard drive space. That's not what we're talking about when I say memory upgrades. If you right click on your computer and desktop and click properties, then you're gonna see something called computer. And under the computer, it's gonna tell you how much memory you have and your processor speed. You'll no notice that my laptop is a Pentium M processor. That's not your memory, that's just your processor type. But below that, it says 1.99 gigabytes of RAM. Now this is your memory, your random access memory. Your random access memory temporarily stores data while your processor is processing that information. So it's important to have a good amount of that. Windows XP recommends a minimum of 256, which is almost a joke, um, 256 megabytes. Uh, uh, my honest opinion is that if you're running Windows XP you, XP, you want at least 512 megabytes. So if you're seeing yourself less than 512, then you're already looking for trouble. Now, on my website, I do have a link to this Corsair memory configurator. And, and for those of you who are afraid to shop for memory, this is hands down one of the best tools on the internet to use. And it's so simple. I mean, and I'm not gonna say the rest of it, you guys know what it is. So on step one, you choose your system. Let me go ahead and choose mine. I'm going to choose laptop because that's what I'm using here. And it's going to go on to the next step. I'm going to choose Dell because I'm using a Dell. And then I'm going to select the model. And mine's a Latitude D610. So then I'll go ahead and select the Latitude D610. And I'll click search. When the results come up, you'll notice that the greatest thing about this is that it gives you a nice, big, huge chunk of information right here on the right hand side. This is literally all the information you need to know to shop for memory on your own. So you can take this information and move on and uh, go shopping on your own. But check this out. This is awesome about this. What's another thing that's awesome about this website? They already have one gigabyte modules recommended for sale. And these are um, one gigabyte. But down here in the bottom right hand corner, check this out. They tell you the maximum allowed memory on your system and the number of slots you have. So literally it gives you all the information you need to know to purchase it. We're not even done there. If I click buy now, they literally bring up a list of all the biggest websites on the internet that give you direct links to purchasing that on your own. So they don't actually literally try to force you to purchase through their website. They give you options. So if I click on Newegg, which is my favorite, uh, favorite online store for buying hardware, it links me directly to Newegg's website with, of course, they show you Corsair. Now, $17.99 for a gig of memory, that's amazingly cheap. So this is a great way to speed up your computer and it's a great way for those of you who are intimidated by buying memory for your computer to not worry about making sure you get the right thing. Now, if that's not on your list, if uh, the list your computer's not on their list in the memory configurator, which is pretty unlikely, they have a huge list, but if it's not on there, remember Google is your best friend. You want to find out this information, the DDR2-533 and uh, maybe the PC24200 if you think you need to know that. Latency is not really that important. And you also need to find out how many slots you have and the maximum amount of memory you're allowed to have. Now, if, when you have all that information, you can just go to straight to Newegg.com and you can click their hardware and go to memory, choose desktop memory, scroll down, and check this out. You can take that direct information you just pulled off of there, select whatever speed your memory is. Since you know how many slots you have, you'll also know how much you need. So if you have a maximum of two gigabytes allowed and you have four slots, that means you can have either four modules of 512 megabytes, or you can go ahead and keep two slots free and use two slots of one gigabyte. I mean, you can, you can do it any way you want, really. But as long as this information matches up, you'll click the item you want, and of course, Newegg will sort it however you want it, whether you want it by lowest price or best rating. Now, the reason I'm a Newegg fanboy is because they leave all these hardware reviews so that you can you can sort it by best rating. And look, you got 1,476 reviews on this RAM. Wow, I mean, it, it's that's a lot of reviews. So you can be pretty confident, you can be extremely confident in what you're buying because they got five out of five. Plus, you can actually click on it and read individual people what they're saying about it. That's why I love this website, plus they're super fast at shipping. And that's pretty much all there is to it. Now, it, it, it's really a, an amazingly easy to upgrade your RAM now, and you will be 
absolutely amazed if you're running only 512 right now what will happen when you move up to 1 gig. And if you're at 1 gig, you will be amazed at how fast it is when you move up to 2 gigs. It's not that expensive. I think 2 gigs of standard desktop memory now, like 2 gigs on uh, just uh, like DDR667 or DDR2 or DDR2800 is like ridiculously cheap. It's like I want to say 35 bucks and you're going to look at a huge speed increase. Now let me go ahead and uh, go back to my website. Let me show you where the link is. If you scroll down the bottom right hand corner, I have under free software tools, you can click on Corsair Memory Finder and that will take you straight to their link on their website which will let you use their memory configurator. And uh, I appreciate you guys stopping by and I appreciate you guys uh, leaving me feedback. Please leave reviews. Uh, I would, I'm happy you guys were happy with my last video. And uh, make sure you subscribe so you can uh, get all the latest videos as they come in. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope it was helpful to you. Thanks again.